to tomorrow's grand final. Now we do push our way straight into the game. Ground Zero actually spike opting planted. for the spike plant very early on there, have indeed secured it towards the a short position. Now the onus is on team launch to try and launch this retake onto the site. They are looking to push their way forward, just finding information first. Now getting picks behind it as well. Oh my gosh, Kane, getting a bit too eager there. It does get met by quite a few people. Like, oh my god. No more does get sent straight to the Shadow Realm. It's all going to be down to Clutchy, but unfortunately can't clutch this one out. As team launch, they do secure the first round. <laughs> Bit of a miscommunication as to who was going to get the defuse there in the end. We can only just wait and see. Kane is just on the other side of that door. So if Texter comes a knocking, Kane, it's going to be trick or treat. And I'll tell you what, he's going to get tricked by Texter. Indeed, could be tricked indeed, or otherwise it could be go. a treat. Looks like the trick is left. indeed in order now. Run it back, being used as well. Picking up a second kill. The pivotal positioning coming through from Texter there. The patience game paying through. Now just trying to pull through with more, but unfortunately not able to deliver. As now it's three versus three, but certainly a great way to start it off. Most definitely. With guns in their hand, Ground Zero are a force to be reckoned with. Three on three situation. Tux in a very good position from the defender side. Spawn. Phoenix Wall will one come out. Zenkoko finds one frag. He finds two frags. He's hunting for the third frag. It was over towards the defender side. Spawn. Charge forward from there. Obviously, there still is going to be a couple of players to deal with. Berg just holding it down steadily with the camera does know that there is at least going to be something happening and that's going to be all the information they need they know exactly where they're going to be coming from now Ferg taking so much damage but it doesn't seem to matter because Ducks gets the first kill now everybody's just pouring onto this piece no. site Texter, oh no! Friendly fire with the hot hands will actually take down Ferg that is not good at all and Texter, that's a field bad man not like this Team launch, they're going to lose, they don't want to lose like that Stacy gets the kill on to Clutchy. Good flick on to Disco there, and he finds Autumn! He's hunting for the next one, but Zenkoko holds firm. It's now one on one. Zenkoko, oh, the flick from Wizard! That was about a 90 degree angle there. And Cypher has a lot of that. Now run it back. Being invested here by Texter. Let's have a look and see what they are going to do. The spike has actually been spotted over in the market area which should be enough to reveal the position of Ground Zero. They've got to pick up the spike, but Dick Stacy just gave a little bit too much there, and Autumn finds the frag. Yeah, well played by Ground Zero there. Pick up the first pick. Dick Stacy getting a little too eager. Now, the onus is going to be on Team Launch to try and adapt and redeem themselves. More information just keeps being gained by Ground Zero. That's going to allow them a degree of confidence to go towards perhaps the A site. Looks like they are stacking their efforts there currently. But little do they know, there is a couple of players lying in wait here. Ducks holding steady on top of the bus as well. Only line of defense is remaining is Ferg and Tux. And Tux has opened up one. Autumn's going to be able to get the trade onto Ferg, though. Now there's one more player remaining here. We do also have the left. omen, but Tux through the smoke, actually Fight taking down it. Kane there. Now it's a two versus three. This is a bit more achievable for Team Lord. I was about to say, it seems more like a three on three when Tux has got that operator in hand. The spike has been landed. It looks like that it's a two on two. Make that a one on two ground zero, even though they got the initial plant. Wizard and Tux are getting the job done. The paranoia comes out. Then Coco finds one. But Wizard is there looking too strong. And once again, like we've seen so many times before, they're being good teammates and making sure that operator stays firmly in the grasp of Tux. Team launch now take their score to five. Ground zero on to the round there. Yeah, ground zero really need to come back throwing haymakers if they are going to stake their claim in this round. Good recon dart coming through. And a better, even better paranoia being thrown out there by Wizard on the Omen. And just like that, Matsy, just yeah. throwing out utility, not a whole lot is happening. Bathroom seems to be the option, well, the optional battlefield choice for the ground zero. The owl drone will get taken down, but not before it reveals Tux on the bomb site of A. Rotation now coming through, which is very, very good, considering now that there are four members from Team Launch over on the site. Meanwhile, Cypher holding that site down over at B, all by his lonesome. Paint shells were about to be thrown into bathroom, but they were not. And now we're going to see the smokes. Here's the trigger being pulled by Ground Zero. Yeah, here comes the party. All ultimates oh, being launched no! through. 
Dick Stacy actually taking out two there. Disco responding in kind with two more. Here comes the trades, just left, right, and center at the moment. Now it's a two versus two. Autumn and Co. Can they pull through? Dick Stacy, he just gets another one. It's a one versus one situation now. Ferg versus Autumn. Can they get it? Oh my oh. gosh! The head was spotted. No. Was a pixel. To that comeback train. And it will come a steam rolling over the top of Team Launch. We saw Exo Clan do exactly that to this team in the first game of the night. Bird opens up the account, makes a deposit, a double deposit, in fact. Clutchy and Disco get taken down, but Kane is on the board. Yeah, well done from Team Launch there, getting three opening picks, but unfortunately losing one member back. Now Ground Zero trying to find a pick there. Oh, Dick Stacy going for the crouch pick. Does indeed manage to get the kill out of it. And now Team Launch are going to secure the spike plants. Only one more player to deal with in Kane. Do you think Kane is going to be able to do it and get the job done, or will they be meeting the Undertaker? Yep. Got Tombstone Pile Drive there, Dick Zero. Even though they've got members defending, Clutchy gets two, and now Team Launch is sort of playing a bit loose, I would say, here, Matsy. But they do not care. They're down two to three in terms of player advantage, but they're still going to get the spike down at B. Spike planted. spike planted. Yeah, seems like considering the round flexibility they have, they can afford to just play a bit more comfortably and relaxed, because obviously. Round zero right now, they can't afford to relax. They need to try and secure as many rounds as they possibly can. Now though, they are starting to charge forward. They know there's at least a couple players on the site. Now it's a two versus two. Very well placed shot by Tux. Here's Kane, does take out Wizard. They know exactly where Tux is going to be placed. What's them out, doesn't seem to matter at all. Kane's just going to stick it out. Oh, get Nice. Does get his life taken away. Territory towards B right now. Oil that stands between them was a trap wire. Now they're going to launch the assault. Let's see who can help through the bullets. It's going to be Ferg finds the frag on Clutchy, but manages to get away with 5 HP. That's going to be the neural theft, and lots of players going to be spotted. Dick Stacy with those flashpoints. going to get one, get two. He's going to go for a random shot down. He finds three. Dick Stacy take a bow. He finds a hat trick. That is huge, huge plays from the player on Breach at the moment. Great use of the utility. That's Breach. Red and Butter Autumn is going to get kill. taken down, or is he? Good kill with the ghost there through the cages. Faultline now to find him, and here comes Team Launch on the hunt. He tries the no scope, and well, it's not looking good. Jet now giving, having to put the Nikes on, and absolutely make it. Takes the teleporter. I was going to say that would have been the cheapest thing. Here. That's going to be the strategy in this instance. Yeah, I like how you uh, whispered there, Matthew, because here we go, the trigger has been pulled, it was quiet, but now, all of a sudden, it's an absolute fiesta, we can see Tux coming through, the showstopper finds Disco, Zen Coco with the Hunter's Fury, gets Big Stacy, it's 4 on 4 situation, alts were committed, Rolling Thunder comes through, we can see Clutchy gets 2 before Texter finds the frag that he needs on the Phoenix, oh, paint shells right at Zen Coco's feet, that's a lot of damage being unnecessarily taken, Team Lord just struggling once left. again, 10 seconds on the clock. Where is the spike? It's over towards A. This could be a huge wow. plan. No, there's Autumn waiting in the wind. Spike, spike does go down in the nick of time. Where team Launch is still in it, but it's all up to Dexter. He's blind as a bat, but manages to find the frag onto K. There's another one. He finds Autumn. One more player left. He knows where they are. There's Phoenix. There it is. The flash makes it. Coco Wild Blind takes down Dexter. Ground Zero are still in it. Oh my gosh, Kid Fox, what is happening right now? These rounds are getting healthy as they possibly can because otherwise that's a vulnerability created. And the oh. side of Ground Zero can exploit it. Oh, is it the shrouded step? Unfortunately, takes them into the wrong position there. That is so dire for the side of Team Launch. Dear. Luckily, Texter finds a pick back. But Disco, just doing work right now, has found another one, trying to do everything for their team. So much damage across both sides, Kit Fox. Yes, but Ground Zero have the advantage, Team Launch. They are not having any of that. The teleporter has been utilized, and that'll force the rotation. This will put Team Launch into a good strategical position here if they get into this site Dark. right now. The dart goes Dark. out. Shop dart. 30 seconds Both left. Shop darts, in fact, from Zenkoko. Have a look way. at the health of the members here of Team Launch. No, that's going to be a frag. Tux manages to find one in retaliation. 
it's still an advantage. Oh, third though, takes down Warner. It's now a triple two situation. Tux gets clutchy. It's all up to Zed Coco. This is it. Zed Coco spots the phone over there. Tux is gonna clutch it out. And Big and Forge are going through to the grand final.